Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Draft to Glory. Now, this is the series where we did seven drafts, and with seven drafts, we have to use our rewards to win the World Cup. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the team that I was able to put together through just playing the drafts. I played seven drafts. We got Pepe Modric, Mutawidi, uh, Tony Cruz, Sturridge, the boy Anthony Martial, the boy Dembele, and as I look at this team, I think, yo, this is gonna be a super easy World Cup run. Run easily be able to win this, easily be able to win this challenge or if i don't win the challenge if i get eliminated early and do not win the world cup we have to discard players of your choice but trust me if we lose the world cup a lot more than just that's gonna happen real quick before we go any further if you like this series please smash a big old thumbs up also shout out to the company should I actually the company the homies the homies at like that you know i worked with the mls and stuff like that all the people that i worked with they sent me a little gift and they sent me this beautiful international kit man so shout out to you guys if you watch this video but with that being said also if you're from this country smash a big old thumbs up with that being said real quick bro uh, if you like this series and you want to see a season two, big old thumbs up. Get this to 10,000 likes. But as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, it is going to get pretty interesting. See, it, going into game one, uh, we were tied up 1-1. And, and I'm actually going to end up making the first guy rage quit. But I could tell instantly that this was not going to be an easy task. Sturridge was scoring, but I didn't feel like he was a good enough number nine to help to get us to win the World Cup. Also, he stayed injured. Every single game, I had to put a, fit, a, a healing card on him. And matter of fact, in one of these games, the last game in this episode, he actually doesn't even play because he was injured. And I can only use stuff through the draft, right? So I can only use fitness cards and stuff that we got through rewards. I didn't have enough healing cards to heal him. So he had to miss the final or miss the, the, the final game of this episode. So with that being said, uh, I jump into it. I don't like my defense was all right, actually. I'm Titi and Pepe together were pretty damn good. Although when I got matched up against stuff like this, Pele and Ronaldo and stuff, it was very difficult to contain. I really had a hard time shutting people down. Up top, we had Anthony Martial and Dembele, which was pretty nice. My midfield was pretty solid, too. On the grand scheme of things, we had a great team, but just not great enough for the, the type of icon teams we're getting matched up against. Bro, every single game you're getting matched up against icon after icon after icon that I knew when I played game one and game two and going into game three of the group stage that this World Cup run was going to be extremely difficult. I kept getting matched up against great team after great team. I mean, look at this. Conte Fabingo uh, up top. Thierry Henry and Luis Hernandez and in the back Blanc and Moore and the biggest problem with seeing Blanc and Moore is Sturridge has to find a way Sturridge he doesn't even have 80 pace on him has to find a way to get around Blanc and Moore so I knew it wasn't going to be an easy task but if I don't want to discard any of my players I can't complain I got to show up and make it happen and this game we're up 2-0 and that's all we could do we couldn't find any more goals my opponent comes down with big boy Luis Hernandez in the 52nd minute and he scores but luckily we're able to hold on. And usually when you watch my World Cup content, you guys know I score like eight goals, seven goals, nine goals. I'm scoring a stupid amount of goals. But in this episode, I'm barely winning games. And it's simply because my offense just was not fast enough at all. So we go into the round of 16. And remember, if we lose, it's over. JJ Acocha, Hazard, uh, Mateus, Messi, Neymar, Ronaldo, Blanc, y'all Jordi Alba Walker and Yashin and ladies and gentlemen we are going to fail the challenge not only are we gonna fail the challenge but I am gonna get one of the biggest beatings I have received in the World Cup bros I knew that this team was I, I, at first when I was playing through the drafts like episode 5 episode 6 I was like oh we got this we're winning the World Cup but during that time I didn't know they were gonna bring out the repeatable SBC world uh, icons um so I actually pull the game back at 2-1. My opponent comes right back down, though, and he's going to make it 3-1. Like, honestly, bros, I could not stop. It was literally just he was able to pretty much just through pass past my defense. He won every ball in the midfield. I just couldn't do anything to stop him, bro. His team was just hella fast, and we were using players that we got out of rewards. But you know I'm not one to complain. On top of that, we didn't have Sturridge. I'm not one to complain. He was better than me on the day. Absolutely annihilated me. He I gave up way too many goals. I couldn't stop his messy. I had no chance of starting his, stopping his arm. Nine. And you remember that funny joke back in the day that I ate to be you when it was 8-2, I ate to be you. Yeah, that, that's going to happen to me, bros. I ate to be too, or be me too, yo. He absolutely destroyed me. I hate to be me right now. He beats me 8-2, and we go crashing out of the World Cup. And with that being said, I told you guys that if I lost the World Cup, that you guys could choose to, for me to discard like three or four players. Well, I'm kind of going to bend the rules a little bit, kind of change it up. I'll have to show you exactly what happens. But all we got to was the round of 16, and I got absolutely smacked. If you want to 
season two, hit that thumbs up. Let me show you what we're doing. So when you do videos and you add a challenge to it, you know that this is a massive possibility. I'm a man of my word. I promised you guys one thing. I said that if, if I did not win the World Cup after I played through seven drafts, that I would discard three to four players. And since I am a man of my word, I'm going to discard three to, three to four players. Uh, as you can see, one already went, two went, and uh, uh, we'll do that. And three went. Boom, GG. Nah, I'm just kidding. See, I told you guys that uh, I would discard two to three players if I didn't win the World Cup. Uh, but we lost so bad that I am discarding my entire club. Every single player that is on your screen, we received as a reward from playing in the draft. I told you guys I had seven games to build the sickest team possible. And, uh, and, and if I didn't win the World Cup, that you guys could vote on the players I discard. And as you can see, I've come to the conclusion that I think the best punishment for this, because I couldn't get it right and win the World Cup, is to discard every single player. Now, this absolutely hurts my soul. Yo, look at that. Pepe Azil. Um, and I don't know if you guys are going to be pissed. I don't know how you guys are going to feel. But the point of this series was to win the World Cup with this squad. And we were, one able, we were unable to do it. In the comments down below, if you guys want to see a season two of the draft to glory, we play through the draft. We get rewards. We use the rewards that we pack to play through the World Cup and try to win it. And as you can see, when we don't win it, the forfeit is very, very, very difficult. I'm not going to discard Ronaldinho because Ronaldinho did not come from the draft. All these cards here did come from the draft. So I am going to get rid of them as well. But yo, I'm not going to lie to you, man. This feels pretty damn bad. Actually, this feels absolutely horrible. I'm not sure how many cards I actually have. Look how many cards we got from rewards from the draft. That is a ton, bros. We got a lot of cards. We have even more. Do I discard all that? I mean, they'll never start. Do we discard all those as well? We're going to be here all day if I do this. But, bros, I'm going to be honest, man. It doesn't feel good, but I'm a man of my word. And I felt like the only way to make this series absolutely make sense is to just get rid of it all, man. To be a man of your word and just do it all. So, as you guys can see, not one card is staying. My entire club is being deleted Every single card we got from rewards is gone. If you want a season two, just smash a big old thumbs up. Maybe we'll make it a little bit different. A couple different rules here or there, but I'm thinking maybe like five drafts. And within those five drafts, we got to put together the best team possible to try to win the World Cup. Very challenging. That opponent I played against was a solid opponent, man. Very good player, had a very good team, and I was just unable to contain that defense he had or that offense he had. He was too quick, he could pop through passes. And I think that's the biggest challenge of this series is the fact that you don't get to pick the players you want to play with. You kind of got to go with whatever you get. You got to kind of go with the flow, make things work that shouldn't work and make things fit that shouldn't fit and hope that you're going to do your best. Yo, bros, there's too many. I'm not sitting here discarding all of them. Man. It's going to take forever. Wait, maybe that's the last page right there. Is that the last page? That might be the last page. My boy Honda, what's up, man? I had a lot of cards. I didn't realize I had that many cards. Oh, one more. All right, so I'm not going to discard Ronaldinho because, like I said, Ronaldinho came from the SBC. The SBC, they cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we didn't use him either way. So I'm not going to discard. I might as well have him on this account. I've never played with Ronaldinho uh, besides the draft in the World Cup mode. So maybe on this account, I will play with him eventually. Hopefully, you guys want to see a season two of this draft. But yo, this feels bad, man. Discarding Pepe and Uzil hurt the most because I feel like Pepe is a massive player in this mode. With the lack of like defenders that there are, there's not that many good defenders. You got Blanc, you got Sergio Ramos. Pepe is obviously one of the top defenders on this game, um, especially the World Cup mode. So with that being said, it kind of felt bad discarding them. But hey, yo, you got to do what you got to do to make uh to 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 when you make uh, you know you make a bet you make a challenge you got to man up man i've always been a guy that lived up to my bets so if you're somebody who bets me money and i lose you best believe i'm paying you baby you best believe i'm paying you in the comments down below let me know the best world cup game you have watched so far obviously portugal spain for me was a sick one yo there's more what all uh, right y'all probably don't want to watch me discard the rest of these you know i will do it yeah, you know I'll do it. There's too many. I will do it, though. You guys know I will. But there you go, bros. I discarded my entire squad, my entire club on the World Cup edition. If you want to see a season two, smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later for another video. 
that 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 feels bad, man. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to the World Cup RTG, baby. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Yo, smash a big old thumbs up if you're watching the World Cup today. Welcome back to the World Cup edition. Welcome back to. Oh man, we are getting some sick upgrades today. Wait till you see what we get. Not only are we getting a sick icon, but bros, we are gonna hit the best number nine in the world, arguably. We are gonna get an absolute machine, a beast, a monster. Wait for it, bros. Now, with that being said, if you're watching the World Cup, smash a big old thumbs up. And if you love this series, smash a big thumbs up. Can we get 5,000? Actually, no, you know what? I know y'all can do it. Can we get 10? thousand likes for the world cup rtg i know you can do it baby bros today i've been seeing people in the comments down below telling me skills take your chances with the icons on the rtg it's worth it it's worth it it's worth it today you guys are actually going to watch me turn in miranda and marcelo now let me explain why um first of all I i'm going to talk about it later in the video as well but i win more games with david louise than i do with miranda their pace is the same miranda does have better stats than david louise but i win and i suffer less goals when i had david louise i've been thinking about playing david louise over miranda for a really long time just benching miranda using david louise again because david louise and tiago Silva for me has been absolutely outstanding also, Marcelo, an 87-rated card, Alexandro's better than him. We have Alexandro on the main team. 